Welcome back to another Dororo review. Today is episode 17. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together with Kasha. As right, so always, we're going to discuss episode of scores at the end. You ready? I, yes. So I'm going to split this out in three parts since that's kind of what this show was, uh, this episode was. Uh, I'll talk about Hyakamaru and Junkai later. First, <laughs> we got the mother waking up. So she's finally about, and when she's talking with uh, Daigo, basically the goddess offered her head in the beginning to save Hyakamaru. And that's why one of the he lived because one of the twelve were not able to fully consume him. Right. And now that it's cracked, the deal is no longer about. Right. Is that? Do you think that is like? Because I've noticed, like th- during this episode, like Kiyakumaro was giving off like a green aura, wasn't he? That was like his a... prosthetics. Since oh, okay, was I thought that was like his hand. I was like, maybe that, ha- but never mind. Never mind, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the green shows across the uh, And of course, Dago has someone who's watching the Dean in place now. So we got that stuff going on. Basically, learn more about what that goddess was doing. We did assume right. it was protecting him and keeping the deal kind of like afloat, but now that it's gone, uh, they could have some Uh-oh. rough times. <laughs> the other part is Tohamaru. It's not really. He didn't really care that his mother was awake. He's kind of on a vendetta right. right now. Ghoul he's, hunting. Uh, yeah, he was... I don't know. Say hi to your mom. Come on, yeah, dude. He, he's kind of like in a... He's like trying to separate his emotions right now to do what's best for his people or what he thinks is best for his people. And it, it's kind of weird. They have the deal with the ghoul. It's like demons, but he's killing this ghoul. Burned it and its children alive. Yeah, I... I don't know. And I mean, he also, you know, had a giant, I guess, not army, but like a group of people ready to go. Yeah, so uh, Daigo <laughs> and one of his found where Dororo was at. So he's sending Tahamaru to go kill Yakamaru. Right. So we got a huge meeting again coming at some point. It's, yeah, it's about to be a showdown. But obviously, the majority of this is Jukai and Hyakamaru finally finding each other again. Jukai yes. being very, very emotional that he's back. Quite the reunion. Obviously, hasn't seen him since he was like small <laughs> <laughs> when he first left. Uh, obviously, Hyakamaru really just wants a new leg very focused on that yeah there was quite um seemed jukai had like emotional i mean obviously he has emotional connection with yakumaru but he also was kind of like acting as his i guess guardian you could say because yakumaru was like yeah give me pretty much give me the goddamn leg and he's like no i can't do that because you're gonna like go down pretty much and i don't say path evil path hell. but yeah, but he's going to go down, like, a, a bad path. Like, bad things are going to happen. Yeah. Which, he, I mean, he has, I guess, a point. <laughs> but Hyakumaro also has a point where he said, it's my body. It's mine. <laughs> I want it because yeah, it's ex- mine. Exactly. Because he's basically saying, like, you know, Hyakumaro is becoming kind of less human inside the more he gets. And, you know, he's even, and he can tell that Hyakumaro has been killing humans as well. Granted, some of them right, which literally is, deserved it, but that's very it's very ironic too because he's becoming less human as he literally becomes more human. Yeah. So it's kind of like, <laughs> but it's also kind of like Jukai kind of went on this similar path. Obviously, not killing demons, but he, I mean, we've seen him in the past where he was killing people and doing terrible things before he realized he needed to stop. And right, he's obviously dead inside is at least that's how he feels because like i mean as we saw demons want to attack him until the ver- <laughs> until the very end where he finally had emotional like connection like he's back to being human or whatever feeling alive so it's right. like he doesn't want to see hyakamaru kind of go through that and you know yeah like he said he's like why do you fight and he's like you know i just need my body back. <laughs> 
which I don't blame him. He wants it. Yeah, he even says, like, you continue on this path, you're going to be killing. There's going to be a lot more bloodshed. You're basically going to have to kill, like, your father, your mother, your yeah. brother. Yeah. All he just die. pretty much set out, like, your family's going to get killed. And he's like, you're going to end up alone. But Helmer's like, I have someone. He's right. not, not here, but I do. <laughs> Which, that kind of changed uh, Jukai's perspective. Like, oh, he does have someone, so, like... Because he didn't want, I think, I mean, pretty much he didn't want Hyakuron to become like him, you know, be all alone and spiral, pretty much out of control, like being just, you know, not living, less of a human. But since he's like, oh, you do have someone, so that made him feel much better. Yeah, because he's like, oh, if you have someone with you, they can keep you human and keep you from, which... Dororo has tried, but she, they did kind of have their thought out here a little bit, but <laughs> obviously they're going to be connecting next episode because we saw Hyakumaro finally going there, which, how did he know? I don't know. but He just senses him, I guess, or senses her. Yeah, maybe. But I, I do like how at the beginning, Jukai didn't know how to relate himself to Hyakumaro. He's like, I'm your. Hmm, I'm not sure what I am to you, <laughs> but, but at the end, like Yakumaro was like, "What's your name?" It's like oh, I'm not gonna give it to you. And Yakumaro's like, "Your mama." <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's he's like, that's not what I am. All right. <laughs> but it was it, yeah, it was pretty funny. But it what it he kind of, I mean, he obviously wasn't his mother, but he was his parent in some sense. Like he did raise him yeah he said that he's like i raised him named you as you right like, so he is pretty much i mean his father maybe not his biological father but like a father figure to him which is nice and which i mean it it emotionally touched jukai too which maybe that's what kind of you know brought his piece of humanity back yeah it's he's the, a, the dying ghoul bit his leg <laughs> yeah he's like he's like <laughs> He's probably like, well, this is gonna probably get annoying. <laughs> I'm glad they, you know, they attack me, but it's gonna suck when that strong one start attacking me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was able to freely just walk around the dead and like ghouls and stuff as the old man was getting murdered by the ghoul. He's like, why not you? He's like, I don't know. He's still just playing with his prostate. He's like, oh man, I don't care. They just leave me alone. <laughs> but now he can't do that, which kind of right, sucks. <laughs> man like i mean that was pretty much the bulk of the episode it yeah. was a lot of connection between hyakumara and jukai so i mean we, you want to jump, jump into the scores, scores? Yeah. <laughs> um do you want to go first you want me to go first yeah, i'll go first maybe i'll give it a seven uh it was a solid episode for sure uh i do like how <laughs> We finally got to explore Jukai more as a character and a little bit of why he was kind of weird, I guess. And then just, and be able to, like, yeah, he wasn't able to do anything really with Hyakumaru. Like, he said a lot of stuff to Hyakumaru, but if Hyakumaru got it or not is a different story. But just seeing him explored is always good. And I guess it's going to be interesting when we see Tohamaru start moving out they know where to go i agree with this seven i thought it was pretty solid i do like the hyakumaru jukai like relationship that's been going on he is pretty much his father figure i'd say like mama (laughs) he is his mama so i am glad we're kind of moving back to the um like family plot you could say like it's definitely been building up pretty much the whole show I'm curious how the map's gonna come in. You know, I feel like maybe that's just a setup for a happily ever after ending. I don't think it's gonna be too important, to be honest. But yeah, I kind of want to see this sh- showdown between, um, which is which is interesting because he still needs to become human, even if like even if he like you know, let's say he fights his family and beats them, he would still need to. I wonder if, like, if Daigo dies, the deal's off, and, like, he gets all his pieces well, it seems back? seems like or... the deal's already off or whatever. That is extent. true. So, 
Uh, I mean, I think he's still gonna go hunt some demons and yeah, get his yeah. body bag. Yeah, he's gonna, have to, <laughs> he's gonna kill some demons some more. Maybe, well, yeah. that, maybe that shark has a piece. Since... Oh yeah, we just yeah, no we just... Roro this episode. So I just, I honestly forgot about the shark. <laughs> I think Cliff hanged us with the shark, and then we didn't even see. Okay. I completely forgot. I'm assuming we'll go back to that. I'm maybe Hiyakuma will probably come save him. That's my guess. Yeah, I'm also wondering now at this point if there's even gold. Like, would that actually be the ambition of Dororo's father? Like, if it's his ambition and everything, like, what is it even going to be gold? But I, or something just meaningful to or the maybe family. It's been taken or something. That's true too. It's just not there. <laughs> I don't anyway, know. We'll it doesn't see. matter. We got well, that. Does it? That's it. It's spiel time. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, be notified every time we upload. Comment down below and let us know what you thought of it. So we did, didn't like anything like that. And until next time, peace out. See ya.